Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my hour-long lectures in song. I was born in a trunk in the Princess Theater in Pocatello, Idaho. That's me playing, talking, and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, Judy Garland. She was born in a trunk, metaphorically speaking. Destined for a performing career by dint of immense natural talent and a driven stage mother, little Frances Ethel Gunn was treading the boards early and often, evolving through the Hollywood dream machine into Judy Garland by the time she was 13. It was the voice, first and last, that made her special, starting in films, rising to the very top of MGM's star roster over the next 15 years. Dorothy from Kansas, trying to get back home after going over the rainbow. Esther from St. Louis, chattering excitedly on the trolley with her girlfriends about her mad crush on the boy next door. Along with Mickey Rooney, half of America's sweetest and most gifted pair of stage-struck teenagers. Later on, waxing wistful about the man that got away. Once let go by MGM in 1950, she sang out her many ups and downs in front of live audiences, becoming one of the stage's most thrilling performers for what remained of her short, fast, dramatically self-destructive life. Her effect on an audience was almost that of a religious revivalist, but all she ever did was sing from a place, and in a way reserved only for the most gifted. She was one of those who, when she sang, it truly mattered. Sinatra himself, in high posthumous tribute, called her the greatest, the one they'll remember when the rest of us are gone. Undoubtedly, Judy Garland was something very special. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmellermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and song. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.